the results that I've previously published for the Aftershock Vapor 15 slash Mag 15 slash Fusion 15 Intel design may not have been accurate. Let's discuss why and take a look at some fresh numbers. I'll be revisiting gaming performance, thermals and clock speed with the newer BIOS to see what the differences are, if any. So what seems to have happened is that the laptop that was sent to me had an older BIOS version, 0038 which seems to be from June. I think it was one of the first machines that Aftershock had available in Australia and it was sent out to me as soon as possible. As it was a new model, they didn't have newer BIOS available for download on the website. However, I found out just after publishing my thermal testing video that they now had a newer version available, 0048. The main difference that the newer BIOS seems to make is that the CPU thermal throttle limit was raised up from 85 degrees Celsius to 90. In my previous thermal testing, I saw some cases where the 85 degree limit was holding back performance. However, even by improving cooling with the cooling pad, I didn't see an improvement to gaming performance, so thought it was fine. The new BIOS also lowers the thermal throttle limit on the GPU to 75 degrees Celsius, down from the previous 87 that I had. However, you can increase this yourself if you want. I'm just testing stock here. It's worth mentioning that other companies seem to already have access to BIOS version 0054 for this Intel design chassis. However, as Aftershock are able to provide the 0048 version, I'll be retesting with this for my full review, as it better represents what a customer would actually purchase today. In any case, the thermal limits now appear to be the same and match what others report with the Electronics Mag 15 and XMG Fusion 15 now. These are the temperatures of the same laptop when under combined CPU and GPU stress test with ADA64 and the Heaven benchmark, and while playing Watch Dogs 2. We can see that with the new BIOS, the CPU temperature is higher, it's no longer capped to 85 as mentioned. Likewise, the GPU temperatures are lower, as they're now capped to 75, which is just a little below what I was getting with the older BIOS. These are the clock speeds for these same tests. If we look at the stress test results first, we can see the CPU is able to average higher clock speeds. Which makes sense, the thermal throttle limit is higher so it can perform better. As the GPU thermal throttle limit was lowered though, the clock speed is lowered too. And this same pattern was also observed in the gaming test. These are the TDP values reported during each test, however I'm not too sure on the accuracy of these. As others have mentioned that the GPU TDP reported may be incorrect with this laptop. In any case, we can see higher CPU TDP with the new BIOS, which is a result of running at higher clock speeds with less thermal restriction. The GPU power drops significantly though, which is why I'm not too sure how accurate these were. As we saw in the last graph, the clock speed drop off wasn't that big. Now let's look at some actual game performance and see if there's a difference. This should allow us to see the practical difference clearly. Based on these results, I suspect that at lower setting levels, or in games that are more CPU bound, the new BIOS may show an improvement, but higher settings or more graphically bound games may see a decrease. Let's start with Assassin's Creed Odyssey, which was retested with the built-in benchmark tool. I've got the old BIOS version 0038 shown by the purple bars, and the new BIOS version 0048 shown by the red bars. This game maps closely to what I suspected we may see. The newer BIOS was ahead at lower settings, but then at higher settings the older BIOS was ahead. Apex Legends was tested with either all settings at minimum or maximum. At minimum there was basically no difference in this game, but then at maximum this time the newer BIOS was 3.4% ahead in terms of average FPS. Borderlands 3 was tested using the built-in benchmark, and in this test the results with the new BIOS, as shown in red, were better in every way. At max settings the new BIOS was just 3% ahead of the old BIOS. Battlefield 5 was tested in campaign mode. The newer BIOS was a little better at low settings, though only 2.7% ahead. Then at every other setting level, the older BIOS was slightly ahead. Control was tested walking through the start of the game, with the same pass through done each time. The new BIOS saw a fair improvement with this game, scoring 7.5% higher average FPS at max settings. CSGO was tested using the Uletical FPS benchmark, and as a CPU heavy test, I thought that the newer BIOS would have made a bigger difference here. However at max settings, there was only a 2% improvement with the newer BIOS, with no change seen at minimum settings. Dota 2 was tested in the middle lane, and this is another game that relies on CPU power that I suspected may benefit from the newer BIOS. The results are close, but at most setting levels there is a slight edge to the new version, which was almost 5% faster in average FPS at max settings. 
F1 2019 was tested using the built-in benchmark. Again, the results are very close together here. However, at most setting levels, the extra CPU power seems to be helping a little with the 1% low performance. Most results though, especially the averages, are within margin of error ranges. Far Cry New Dawn was also tested using the built-in benchmark. As a CPU heavier test, we're only seeing the newer BIOS coming out ahead at low settings. It was otherwise a little behind at higher settings. However, it wasn't really a significant difference one way or the other. Fortnite was tested using the replay feature with the same replay. There was a little boost to average FPS. The new BIOS was 6% ahead at epic settings. However, there were far larger improvements to the 1% low in this game with the newer BIOS. Ghost Recon Breakpoint was tested using the game's built-in benchmark. In all but low settings, the new BIOS was behind in terms of 1% low, despite the highest CPU cap. The average frame rate was also a little ahead with the older BIOS in all but the highest setting preset. Pretty strange results, but again, no major differences. The Witcher 3 was retested as I find it to be quite GPU heavy at higher settings. At high and ultra settings, the newer BIOS was a little behind, likely due to the lower GPU limit. But at medium and low, the newer BIOS is ahead, likely due to the higher CPU limit, as CPU power typically matters more at lower setting levels. Metro Exodus was tested using the built-in benchmark tool. There was almost no difference with the low setting preset. Then otherwise, the newer BIOS was further ahead at all other setting levels. Rainbow Six Siege was another that was tested with the game's built-in benchmark, so the exact same test was done in all instances. The average frame rate from the newer BIOS was slightly ahead in all tests here. These are the differences we're looking at out of all games that were retested at max settings. Basically, when it comes down to averages, the new BIOS was only 2% ahead, so hardly any real difference at all, but a difference nonetheless. As mentioned, max settings in many games are more GPU bound, so let's look at the differences between minimum settings. This time the newer BIOS is ahead in most games. However, the difference is similar on average, it's just 2% faster when compared to the old BIOS. I guess this shows that the new BIOS is for the most part better all round in terms of game performance, so I suppose that's partly why Intel made this change at some point over the last few months. Are these differences significant? No, not really. But I feel it's important to show accurate data using the most up-to-date BIOS version available, which is why I spent a day redoing the testing before finalizing the review, and why I made this comparison explaining, correcting, and showing the differences. Now that I've got the correct data sorted out for a version of the BIOS the majority of people will be using, I'm off to finish the full review. Let me know what you thought of the BIOS differences in the comments. And of course, if you're new, get subscribed for the full review of the Aftershock Vapor 15 slash Electronics Mag 15 slash XMG Fusion 15 gaming laptop by Intel.